Hey everyone, it's Relapse here. I have an exciting video for you all today. I was able to get my hands on a Unicorn R2.1. This video is my experience unboxing and building the board. The price will be broken down later after the build is finished. Please enjoy while I try to be as informative as I can about the build. For the PCB, I'll be using the HAD60 designed by Hadi. This PCB picked up my interest as it has flex cuts along all alpha layers. I was interested in the soft typing experience it would provide. This particular PCB has the USB-C connector still on it. You can buy it with either connector on or off. As for the switches, I will be using an ink Franken switch. In the bags, I have inks, compitus, and creams. Creams are often used for Franken switching as the stems have a longer pull. This results in a louder switch as the pull will bottom out first. However, after testing, I found that I prefer the compitu stems over the cream stems as there is less wobble due to a shorter pull. By using the compitu stem, I found that the ink has a nice poppy sound as well as a nice smoothness to it. As you can see, here's a comparison between the ink, compitu, and cream stems. Here is my custom palm plate for the unicorn. I've added additional relief cuts to even out the sound and feel of the board. As you can see, it does not look like your traditional 60% plate. After placing my switches into the plate and PCB, it's time to solder. I am utilizing a technique called the Wodan method. 
This ensures that the switch is aligned correctly and is commonly used for half plate builds. In order to use the wool end method, first solder on the thick leg of the switch pin. This is the one closest to the center of the switch pole. Next, reheat your solder joint with your iron and push the switch into the PCB. And last, solder on the thin leg of the switch and ensure your solder joints are well made. To the right is a cost breakdown of the board with aftermarket prices. I won't say this is my smartest purchase, but man does it look good. Here's a quick typing test.
I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I have. This isn't my usual type of video. Please let me know what you think in the comments down below.